Hey everyone, welcome to day one of Our Savior Lutheran Church's Rocky Railway VBS. I bet it's so cool to stay at home and still participate in VBS. I'm Danielle and this is my buddy Dave and we can't wait to have all the cool stuff that we're going to have planned for you this week. Yup, and today, day one, our theme is Jesus helps us do hard things. You guys say that with me, ready? Jesus helps us do hard things. You'll get to see how a man in the Bible named Ananias had to do something that was really, really hard. Dave, have you ever had to do something really, really hard? Oh, getting out of bed in the morning is hard sometimes, <laughs> Danielle. Yeah, you know, life is hard. Um, it has all kinds of situations that are difficult. Sometimes like when people that we love are, are sick or when we have to do something new or learn something new, it can be hard. In fact, I can remember yeah, there was a time in grade school, probably when I was the age of a lot of these kids watching at home, I couldn't figure out how to do long division. It was hard. Well, what happened? Well, my teacher offered to help me and some other students who were struggling with it mm -hmm. during lunch and during recess, and he prayed with me. And you know what? It became clear. Suddenly, I understood how to do long division. <laughs> Oh, that gets me excited. Jesus does help us do hard things. It's just His, like they saw ourselves, yeah, right? His power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. Hey, we want to introduce you to a song. It's easy to learn. Once you catch on, sing at home. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh.
song of praise and assurance. Your power will pull us through. Life can be like a rocky journey over and through some scary mountains and some twists and turns. But just like a powerful train, like the one behind me here, can handle those turns and those scary heights, Jesus, his power, can carry us through. Hey, before we get this train ride here to our Bible lesson for today, we want to share a few things with everyone who's watching at home. All right, each night we're going to begin, just like tonight, with our theme song and some announcements. First we've got Bible lesson, then Miss Lefebvre will present an activity during Imagination Station time. Then we've got another really cool music video to play. After that we've got Locomotion Games where Mrs. Connor will teach us a great game we can play with our families at home. Yeah, and then Danielle and I will meet you guys back right here for an inspirational kid vid story. Kid vid? What's a kid vid story? I'm glad that you asked, Danielle. A kid vid is a real life story of how God's power helped a kid through a really hard situation. And we've also got a different animal each night who's going to talk with us and share with us scripture verse and the theme for the night. Yay, Dave, that sounds so cool. Hey kids, just a reminder, wait until everything is done for the Imagination Station activities and the games until the whole VBS program is over. That way, you won't miss a thing. Ah, that's a good point, Danielle, yeah. Hey, all right, it's time right now for day one, our Bible lesson for tonight. Hey, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about a story, a true story from the Bible, from the book of Acts in chapter 9. Well, I'm always happy to invite new friends into my house. And we all have things that we are that's hard for us to do. Jobs that seem too big to do or stuff that seems too complicated to even try. When you run into something like this, remember this, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Right. Jesus. You know, I can remember a time I had something hard to do. Uh, it was when I was a little... Hey, Ananias, what, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm hiding. Well, who, who, how do you even move? From everyone. Oh. Uh, well, well, that's not gonna gonna work. Stand up and, and tell me where are you where are you hiding? Uh, what's going on? By the way, everyone, this is my friend Ananias. Um, Ananias, these are my new friends. Hi, uh, people. I, I don't know in my friend's house. Hi. So, uh, so why exactly are you hiding? It's Saul. He's here in Damascus to arrest anyone who loves Jesus. And I love Jesus. Oh, well, I guess you uh, have... Uh, he has thrown lots of Jesus' friends into prison, and he's here in Damascus. Okay, well, I, I guess you haven't heard... Well, uh, about how Jesus appeared to Saul, uh, well, well, and how yeah. a bright light shone around Saul, and Saul heard Jesus' voice, and then Saul fell on the ground, and how he was blind, and how his buddies led him here to Damascus. Yeah, I heard all, I heard all that. Yeah, so, so why are you hiding? Um, and why are you wearing that silly mustache? It's a disguise. Uh, well... <sighs> oh! Ow! Now you blew my cover! Yeah, it, w it wasn't working. I just... Well, God came to me in a vision this morning and told me I should go to Straight Street, and when I got there, to ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. Wow. And then, I should place my hands on Saul and pray for him, so Saul will be able to see again. Well, so why are you here instead of doing what God asked you to do? Because when Saul's able to see, guess who and what he's going to see? Me! And Saul arrests Christians and throws them in jail! And then he, he locks them up with ropes and stuff. And, 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 I don't, I don't know what he'd do with this, but it, I don't want to find out. Uh, why is he God asking me to do such a hard thing? Oh, well, maybe my new friends here... Uh, know something you should know <laughs> that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! Trust Jesus! Oh. 
Oh, right. Ha! Okay, but this is a really hard thing. Like, super hard. I'm afraid. And I'm not sure that I can actually even do it. Have you ever had something hard to do and you weren't sure you could do it? Well, I have. And so and so have my friends. We were talking about it before. But so, so you know that God has asked you to do. You know you're not alone. That we've all had hard things to do. And you know this Jesus power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Jesus. Now all that's left is for you to go do Ooh. what you need to do. You, you ready? No. No. Okay, well, would you feel better if I pray for you? Uh, praying is just talking to God. Uh, I can ask him to give you courage to do what he asks you to do. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, let's do all that. Right. Let's all do right. that. Uh, dear God, please give Ananias courage as he goes to meet Saul. Thanks that when we have to face hard things, we don't have to face them alone because we have you. Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to do this. Woo! Give me love. Oh, 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 oh. High five. High five. Low five. Woo! High. Low. Woo! Oh, Woo! Oh, Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Woo! Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I, I, I don't need this. All right. So I hope we get to find out how all that turns out for Ananias. Maybe he'll stop by later and tell us. Well, what I just did for Ananias, you can do for people you know that are going through hard things. You can ask God to help them do those things. All right? Uh, well, it sounds like you have to go now, uh, but thanks for visiting me today. Bye! Bye. Hello, guys. Uh, Shelly and Leah here and um, we are welcome to Imagination Station first of all uh, and we are going to show you today's craft. You know sometimes we all have to do hard things and we may not understand why. We may not be able to control what's happening. Our lives seem to be going in all different directions. Let's see what that's like. Okay right now we're going to make off-rail rollers. Um, and this is going to be the finished product. It should go in all different directions. So we're going to start out. We have our pieces here. Leah's going to do one and I'm going to do one. So you're going to take your first part of the one that has the raised, the raised hole. You're going to take your rubber band, pinch the end, and stick it through just like that and you're gonna secure that by putting in the long straw then you're gonna take the other side of your rubber band and put it through the other piece click them together and secure that with the small yellow straw. Then you can twist it, get it wound up nice and tight, and let them go. These go in all different directions and it helps to remind us that Jesus' power helps us to do hard things.
welcome to Locomotion Games. It's going to be an awesome week where we get to play and laugh and splash around with our family. Today's game is called On Track to Splash. And today we are on track with how Jesus' power helps us do difficult things. We're going to have a big challenge in this first game. What you will need for this game are two buckets. You're going to want to fill them three quarters of the way full with water. And we have them placed on either end of our playing field. You are going to want to have about two feet of yarn for each player, each person in your family that will be playing. Um, I used red because we are doing this in our backyard and red is easier to see against the green grass. But the thicker the better. If you're doing it in your yard, the green is really hard to see. We started out with that color. You're going to need about three to six sponges. I think the more you have, the more fun it'll be. Um, they can be any size. Um, I've got some bigger ones here that you use to wash your car. I think those would be really fun. But if you don't have the bigger sponges, you can also use a kitchen sponge too. And that's just going to be just as fun. Um, so as I said, we place both buckets on either end of the playing field. You need to place however many people you have playing in your family, you need to place the yarn across the playing field uh, for each member of your family. One of the pieces of yarn has to be pretty close to the first bucket so the player can reach in and grab the sponges. So I'm going to place this one right here. We have another piece of yarn. Where did the other one go, Isabella? Right here for the second player. And then our third player's piece is right over there. Each player will stand on one of the pieces of yarn. And you have to kind of balance on the yarn one foot in front of the other. You have to pretend like you're balancing on a railroad track. So the first, let's put the, the sponges in the, water. in the water. Yep. You'll probably have to <laughs> let's soak them. <laughs> Get them wet. The object of the game is to get all of the sponges from one bucket to the opposite bucket, the bucket on the opposite side of the playing field. And each player in the game and your family will work together to do this. You can only throw the sponges from player to player. It's the only way that you can move the sponges across the playing field is by tossing or throwing. Um, if someone doesn't catch the sponge, then that person has to sit down and they're out of the game. Um, if someone falls off their little yarn track, um, they lose their balance and they fall, they also have to sit out and they don't play for the rest of the game. So that's where the challenge is. <clears throat> so we'll have each member of my family, I have three that are going to be uh, playing today, um, get on our yarn and we'll show you how it's done. Are you ready? Oh, oh, that's wet. Now your turn. Oh, money. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, little sponge. Oh, boy. Nice. Two for two. Oh, geez. You're going to enjoy this one. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that game, On Track to Splash, that looks like a lot of fun. I want to play that. <laughs> and the Imagination Station activity looks pretty cool, too. Hey, guess what? We've got another cool song to close us out tonight. You mean the one about, His power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. Oh, you know, that's a great song. 
and we're going to play that at the beginning each night. But to close, we're going to play a song that you might have heard before. It's called The Same Power. Check it out. show the boys and girls the story of Dominic. Yeah. He relied on Jesus to help him conquer something that was very difficult. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm. Right here, right here. Boom. It just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train, and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle way, way, and let me push through it. And, ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't going to pass, and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this, and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. 
finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow, and I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and He'll help you. Pray to God and He can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. The Bible promises that Jesus can help us with everything. We never have to do anything alone. Hey, let's say our Bible verse for today. It's a simple one from Philippians 4, verse 13. It says, For I, I can, can do, do everything, everything through, through Christ, Christ who, who gives, gives me strength. strength. Hey guys, why don't you repeat it home with me, but let's do some hand motions, okay? Are you ready? Let's try this. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Oh, I like it. Ooh, you wanna try that? Yep, I'm ready. For I, I can, can do everything, everything through Christ, Christ who, who gives, gives me strength. strength. Oh, that's a great Bible verse. It reminds me of God's strength in me. Boys and girls, we want to introduce you to one more guest tonight, Ramsey, the big horn sheep. Ooh, the big horn sheep. I wanna see this. Check it out, you guys. Hey there, friends! Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough, because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good! But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way. Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do 
everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Hey, we really had some fun today on the Rocky Railway. We learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. In today's Bible adventure, you learned how Jesus asked Ananias to pray for Saul. And that was a hard thing to do um, because Saul had been really mean and scary, especially to Christians. Yeah. But Ananias trusted Jesus and Jesus gave him the courage to go. Saul even became a friend of Jesus and turned his life around. Hey you guys, join us tomorrow night for an awesome trip on Rocky Railway VBS. It's a different story tomorrow night, a different theme, some other songs, another Imagination Station activity, a game, snack ideas, and more. And we want to make sure that everyone knows about Thursday. Families, decorate your cars and vans and trucks and anything that you want to drive in. We want to celebrate VBS Rocky Railroad with crazy streamers and window messages and train stuff. Anything. Thursday here at the church at 6.30. Choo-choo! And we'll have the Kona ice truck here with free snow cones for the kids. A reminder of our VBS theme for the week songs, conversation, and a great prayer to close our entire week out. Thursday night, don't forget, decorate those cars and trucks and vans. It's going to be a blast. Whoa!